Hello, everybody. This is Agony333, back with another fucking movie review. Uh, this time, it's not a disturbing flick. It is just a regular horror movie. But it is await further instructions. Now, um, this film looked a little bit interesting to me. That's why I gave it a watch. I watched it uh, a little while ago. And, um, yeah, we'll be, we'll be getting into the thick of it. I don't think there'll be too much for me to discuss, but, uh, we'll see. First, there's a, a non-spoiler section, and then there's a fucking spoiler section. But like I said, not much to really discuss here. So, this movie is pretty much, um, based around, uh, the two protagonists, which are Nick, which is a boyfriend, and Angie, which is his girlfriend, and they basically head to a family gathering around Christmas time, uh which is against Nick's wishes. He doesn't really wish to show Angie his family, which is very understandable once you actually get into this movie. But it seemed pretty, like a pretty interesting film, at least like the pick when I had seen it. And, you know, just the premise sounded kind of interesting. So that's why I gave it a watch. But, um, yeah, so they pretty much head there. And you can pretty much immediately tell that something is off with his family. Like, pretty much from the get-go, you can tell there's something kind of under the surface. Something's off. And, uh, yeah, it starts uh, pretty fucking quickly. You can start to notice that this family's got some fucking issues there. Some big fucking issues. And if I was in Nick's shoes, I definitely wouldn't want to bring my girl around a fucking family like that either. But yeah, let me see what I can discuss before getting into spoilers. I've already mentioned uh, that. Um, yeah, a lot of the notes that I have here are kind of uh, spoiler worthy. But one thing I will say is that a big theme of this is control. A big theme of this is like control. You know, there's a lot of a lot of control. Like, I don't know if I'd say hierarchy, but there's like, you know, the father of this family is a very controlling man. And he, he wants control and he... You know, he's just fuck, a fucking control freak, you know, and like I said, await further constructions. Pretty much what happens is this house gets on lockdown, and they cannot escape. They don't know what is going on. They see that the television starts giving them basically orders, and the father believes that it is orders from the government, which they must follow, because this guy is like, you know, majorly a conformist, you know, he, he fucking feels like he has to obey everything this television is is giving them, whereas Nick is, like, the opposite of that. He's more about, like, following what he feels is right, and he's more about bucking that system, and he starts to see and question what this television is telling them to do because the television starts telling them absurd things and really fucked up things to do, and so there's this, this confliction. There's this fucking conflict between... Nick and his stupid fucking father, because I'm, yeah, I'm just going to straight up say his father was a fucking moron. And, and so, yeah, you, you just see this whole family basically going at each other on a constant basis. And it's, it's fucking, at least for me, it was infuriating to fucking see because you're just like, come on, just open your fucking mind. Come on, open, open your fucking eyes, man. That's like, that's, that's the feeling I got. But Here's where I'm going to get into things a little bit without trying to spoil. What I will say is that I feel like the film had more potential than it delivered. And that was really the disappointing thing is like, you know, with the presentation, with the family, with the characters, it had some good potential there. And it squandered that fucking potential. It just, it didn't really deliver as much as it could have. It did little bits with some of the characters, but it just, it didn't fucking deliver. You know, it just, it didn't really deliver. It just basically focused on a couple of them, and, and it focused a lot on just the father and Nick, and them colliding. And so, yeah, it didn't really focus as much as I would have liked on the family as a whole. You know, I feel like if it would have focused on them as a whole and let m other characters kind of come through and have more of... A diversity there rather than just two sides of it it would have made it a lot more interesting and it kind of just fell flat you know whereas at first it seemed like it'd be interesting it just it quickly it fizzled out for me it did it fizzled out and it lost that but one thing i'll say that was cool was what it ends up turning out to be you know what's behind the television 
what's behind the whole situation ends up being a sort of fresh take. I kind of liked what it ended up being, and that kind of like, I don't know if I'd say redeemed it, but it, it's it's not something completely typical. It ended up being something pretty unique, which was which was a benefit to this. And the whole like ending kind of had a unique vibe to it. So that ended up lending a little bit back to the film. But like I said, it was it was falling short in some places. Other places was kind of going back. But it, it, as a whole, it didn't really win me over. And it, and it overall fell flat, which is a shame. Because like I said, this film had potential. I feel like it had potential. And as it turns out, a lot of people really feel like this film didn't really did not really fucking go well. So I can understand why. I mean, at by the end of it, for me anyways, and for I think a lot of people, it just kind of came off average. You know, it came off as an average film instead of surpassing that and really shining with its unique moments. But it did have some unique moments. So pretty much what I'm going to give it, without going into the spoilers and without discussing further more thoughts on that, is I think I was going to... I struggled with either giving it just a straight-up average, because it is just kind of an average film at the end of the day. But, with some of the unique little bits there, it kind of brings it a little bit above average to me. So, I figured I would settle with a 5.5. I should also mention it is a film that was released in 2018, at an hour and 30 minute runtime. But yeah, I mean, 5.5 is, to me, the best I can give this. You know, there's probably people that are going to give it way less than me. Maybe people that could see a little bit more good with it and give it a little bit more, but I've just said, fuck it. I'm selling with a 5.5. It's nothing too fucking spectacular. You know, there's there's other films that do the whole family held up thing way fucking better, in my opinion. Like, Your Next was fucking good. You know, that took a spin on it and, and really wasn't... I mean, if you're looking for a family being held up, I think The Purge would do better. I think that fucking Your Next would do better. And I mean, there's there's countless others that take that situation where a family's held up in a fucking home and do it much better and bring more uniqueness that actually works and doesn't fizzle the fuck out at the end of the day. So, yeah, it's a 5.5. If you still feel like giving it a check out because of some of the unique things, like I said, the, the actual entity, the thing that is causing the situation... Or, you know, some of the different things and the theme of control and the theme of, you know, you know, the whole theme of either thinking for yourself or conforming and, and you know, following under control, which is an interesting, you know, situation and an interesting thought to go with with this. Then, then give it a check out. You know, it's not a horrible film. It's just it doesn't fucking it doesn't bring something new enough to me. But. Yeah, that's that's before the spoilers. Now I'm going to go into some more discussions and some more spoilers. So peace out everybody who doesn't want spoiled and who actually wants to check it out. And here we go, guys. Let's go into a little bit more of the spoilers. Now, one thing I'll say is, so yeah, the father is a fucking scumbag. I'll straight up say that. He's a fucking piece of shit. I fucking hated him. I was hoping the entire time that Nick or somebody would just deck his fucking ass and just take him the fuck out. You know, not kill him, but like at least... You know, show this fucking loser who the real fucking man is. Because to me, I mean, he was all about dominance and being this tough fucking... But he's a conforming bitch. Like, you know, he fucking acted like like he was the man in charge. But all he was doing was bending over to this television and just listening to the orders. It was barking at him and, and at to everybody's detriment. You know, he was just... He was fucking... Yeah, he was just screwing everybody over, man. It was just, It was a fucking joke. And then, funny enough, uh, the other character, I can't remember his name, but dude, like, the daughter, um, the sister, Nick's sister is a complete fucking, a complete cunt, and fucking, I mean, everybody in this family is like a fucking cunt, is a fucking scumbag, is a, is a selfish fucking loser that just bends under the father's will besides Nick, really, and that's what's like, come on, like, Anyways, yeah, so Nick's sister's husband, that little fucking pansy, is another one who just, he feels masculine, and he has to be all dominant and shit. So what does he do? He bends over and takes the father's fucking cock, is what he does. He bends the fuck over and does whatever daddy fucking asks. Because that, that's really what being a man is about, right? Is just bend the fuck over and do what the dominant fucking force says to fucking do. Instead of actually standing up like Nick does... 
he decides to say, fuck, I'm going to side with, you know, the, the fucking dominant force here. And I'm going to help the father be a piece of fucking trash. And, you know, there's a couple times later on where he kind of sees, yeah, I'm being stupid. And he tries, but it's, it's a little too late. The dumb fuck, he realizes that way too fucking late. Oh, yeah, I can just, I can feel the rage. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's the thing I was saying with this film is like, it was making me feel rage because it's like, you're, you guys are so fucking dumb. Like, the family is just so fucking stupid and they make so many fucking dumb fucking choices and no one wants to listen to Nick. Oh, like, yeah, just fuck it. Yeah, just fuck it. Okay, but I'm going to move on to the next thing here before I keep. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, this was another interesting thing. So yeah, the theme was about control. And you could see that, and you could see the whole dysfunction of this family, and the whole center of the issue residing in the grandfather, because it goes into where the grandfather was a piece of fucking garbage and scum. It goes into how he was the same way that the father is towards Nick. You know what I mean? The grandfather was a fucking compassionless you know, no empathy, just a fucking, another one of those, a drone, a fucking, you know, I'm going to take orders and fucking, I'm going to be the man, you know, is a fucking loser, in my opinion, no offense to, you know, anybody who I guess has ideals, thoughts like that, whatever, I mean, everybody their own, whatever, but I'm, I'm saying in the context of this film, these guys did not handle things well, and they were fucking idiots, that's straight up. They're, they were fucking idiots. They were not there for each other. Like, they should have been. Like, a family needs to band the fuck together. They need to be there for each other. They need to listen. They need to cooperate to figure their way out. But this, these idiots essentially destroy themselves. They essentially completely fucking combust into flames. And completely... Yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking idiots. But yeah, like I said, you can see the source of it which was good, which was part of, like I said, what made it interesting and what helped in a sense, but kind of fizzled out because I would have liked to see more of that. I would have liked to see more of that kind of come to a head. I would have liked to see more of other characters kind of give their opinions and not everybody just side with the father. I'd like to see more variety in the characters. It was kind of just like, here's the father's force and here's Nick. and he's, Nick's going to get the shit kicked out of him constantly and nobody's going to have the balls to stand up the fucking daddy basically like what it amounted to but yeah you've seen the source of it you've seen which was like i said good some films don't even do that some films just like have a character and that's it but this one you could see traces of where this these fucked up issues began and affected everybody in the family and the formation of this family which was interesting and that's what kind of helped me elevate it to slightly above average was it was it did some cool things there but yeah so i i had that the, other, the sad thing is, one of the few people, besides like Nick and Angie, that were actually redeemable was the mother. And I mean, she tried that. Like, you know, there was moments um, before things hit the fan where, you know, Nick was ready to get out. He was like, fuck this shit. You know, there was an argument between Angie and some of the family, the scumbag family members. And, you know, the mother tried. You know, you could tell that the mom, she saw through it. You know, she could see the family's fucked up. And she was just trying to do everything that she could behind the scenes to just to make it like a normal family and to keep things together and to do the right thing. But essentially, she just has to deal with it. And it, it sucks. You know, she ended up having to suffer a lot at the hands of of the father and everything. It's a shame that she didn't stand up more to this bitch. Because, yeah, you know, as, as tough as they all are, as, as fucking tough as these tough guy fuckers are... They were little bitches. And they both, you know, the father and the, um, the, the fucking, the tough guy that was married to the sister. Because, yeah, like I said, what, what's being tough? You know, being tough is bending over to the father and bending over to his wife. Because you, I think there was even a line in there where the wife was like, be a man or whatever to him. And it's like, yeah, being a man's totally bending over to both of you fucking losers. Like, like, yeah, she, she totally chose a spineless fucking fool to manipulate, and he was easy to fucking do. So, yeah, but the mom and everybody who actually had some common sense and actually had some humanity to them had to suffer at the hands of the fucking scum here. But, yeah, um, another thing, like I said, so conformity and following orders versus thinking for yourself was a big theme of this. And it was kind of a cool theme to dissect and show. 
And obviously conforming ended up being bad because what was behind the TV was not a savior like these dumb fucks thought it was. It was a fucking horrific entity that was destroying the fucking earth. And that was also one of the interesting things was that it ended up being, you know, like a, a sort of like a computer type thing, like a fucking AI or like a parasitic computer thing that was trying to just ravage the fucking planet and ravage people. And so that's what was another unique factor that elevated just slightly above average to me. But I would, I feel like the film would have definitely been a lot better if they would have had other characters have their own unique attributes to them and had a little bit more of that. And they discovered that more rather than just, you know, doing it a little bit and then pushing it to the side. Now it's just you versus me. And then, you know, me following orders to this and that. But, I mean, yeah, it was an okay film. It was, it was an alright fucking film. I think I've basically covered everything I need to fucking say about it. Because, yeah, you know, 5 point fucking 5. You know, I don't know if anybody maybe got other messages, other things out of it than, than I did. You know, if you do, leave me a note in the comments. There's probably other things to maybe decipher out of this, but... Yeah, I mean, I've, I've pretty much discussed everything I fucking feel like discussing. This film was just an okay one. I was hoping for a lot more. I'm sure others watching this was hoping for a lot more. But, yeah, that's that's about fucking it. So, actually, surprisingly, a somewhat shorter fucking um, take this time. I'm very fucking surprised. Usually I ramble way, way fucking on. But So, yeah, guys, if you liked this somewhat short uh, review from me of Await Further Instructions... Like, comment, subscribe for more horror movie reviews, and I probably will be getting to actually movies that are not just horror. The bulk of what I do is horror, and I usually do some just, you know, extreme horror films, but this was just another normal one. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe for more. More will be coming. I love watching horror movies, and I love giving my thoughts on them, and I love hearing other people's thoughts on them. I like discussing this stuff, so like, comment, subscribe for more. And yeah, so this was Agony333 signing out, everybody. Have a great one. Peace out. Awesome shit.